Hello there, folks. It's uh, Carl Smith from the UK Hypnosis Academy. And tonight, I've got some a great guest for us uh, in tonight to talk about Havening. So I'd like to introduce Mr. Stephen Travers. How are you, Steve? I'm very well, Carl. Thanks for having me. How are you keeping? I'm good. So what we're going to be talking about tonight is um, we're going to be talking about uh, the up and coming training that uh, Stephen will be holding with the Academy uh, in September. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to give a couple of people a bit more time just to join us. Uh, there's one or two people turning up. As you turn up, just say hello and tell us where you're from and all that type of stuff. Um, and then we'll just go from there. So, um, yeah, so the dates, we're going to be talking about the dates of Havening, what Havening does, how it can um, help you and support you in your therapy room and, um, and, not, and many other things. And Steve's going to take us through it. So what I'm actually doing in the background is what every social media gimp should do, really, is check to make sure that everything's running fine. So if there's anyone out there at the present moment in time, uh, just say hello and just let us know that you're about. And uh, then we'll get underway. So there's a couple of people. Ah, good, good. So what I'm actually doing down here is not being rude. I'm actually just checking to see me and Steve are on the internet. So I always do that, Steve, just to make sure. So um, we've got a couple of people watching this now, and there'll be a chance for you to watch this later on. So, Steve... Do you want to tell us about uh, about yourself and about how you got into um, therapy, uh, your business, where you're based, and how you got into Havening? Yeah, well, initially I trained as a hypnotherapist. Um, why did I do that? Well, I had panic attacks and I was suffering with anxiety going back into my 20s. Yeah. So I was looking for a solution. I worked in sales and marketing at the time, so I was very aware of NLP because we were trained in that and also some elements of hypnosis. So I decided to do a hypnotherapy training in Ireland and yeah, I found it very beneficial for my anxiety. It helped me overcome the, the panic attacks as well. Yeah. And I loved it. So I ended up becoming a hypnotherapist. But I was also very much into personal development. So over the last decade or two, I've been doing various different trainings. I've trained in, in everything from uh, hypnoanalysis, psychoanalysis, NLP, EFT, TFT, the Demartini technique, uh, and various other different different types of therapies. So I came across Havening about five years ago. Uh, I was reading an article uh, by Paul McKenna, and McKenna was raving about this treatment called Havening. He, he essentially said that he believed it was going to change the face of therapy across the world. So this really got my interest. So I went off and started researching it. So how, how you doing it now? Yeah. what's that? How long have you been doing it now? I'm doing it about five years. I was one of the first certified havening practitioners in the world and the first one in Ireland. Uh, I'm also an international trainer of havening and I am the deputy head of the havening organization for Europe and the UK. Oh, cool. Like I have a full five to uh, clinics in Dublin, uh, full time practice now for uh, just over a decade. I work with hundreds of people uh, every year, uh, mostly with anxiety based uh, disorders and confidence issues. That's the main thing I do. OK, cool. So tell us about the training you went through for Havening and um, talk about Let's talk about Steve and Ron. Let's talk about the two guys there. Yeah. Well, well havening, people, a lot of people ask, well, what is havening? It sounds like it's a bit of a strange word. Well, it's a psychosensory treatment or therapy, which means that we use sensory touch where we stroke the arms, the hands and the face. And we also use pleasant psychological distractions. So havening was developed by an American doctor called Dr. Ronald Rudin. Uh, Dr. Rudin has the largest private medical practice in New York. And he's also a Harvard academic. So, you know, he's, he's a pretty smart guy. And when I read that article by McKenna, I researched, I started researching about Havening online. And I came across his book, which is called When the Past is Always Present. Great book. Yeah. And that book really goes into the neurobiology and the neuroscience behind Havening in regards to how trauma gets encoded in the brain and the body. Uh, Rudin really uh, worked at, you know what's actually happening right down to the neurons in the amygdala when trauma gets encoded and how the havening the sensory touch how that actually removes the emotional 
and physical symptoms of the trauma within minutes. So when I read that book, I was very impressed with the neuroscience. Mm. I did one of the first trainings in the UK. Uh, this came back once again about five years ago. And the results I started getting with my clients, like they were phenomenal. I was, you know, getting rid of, you know, post-traumatic stress, general anxiety, yeah. uh, massive traumatic memories within minutes. Uh, and it really transformed my practice in terms of the results I could produce, and even from my business model, because people were going off and starting to talk about uh, the results they were getting through the Havening treatment here yeah. in Dublin. So. Mm. So what, what I just want to clarify to our viewers at the moment, because this was a question that was posed earlier, yeah. is that, um, havening itself is nothing like, let's say, kinetic shift or CITAP, um, as in Kevin Lay. It's got nothing like, it's nothing like that, is it? Um, yeah, that, 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 yeah that, that's right. It's, it's, it's very different than kinetic, than kinetic shift or hypnosis per se. Uh, it's essentially a psychosensory therapy. So okay. we're using a lot of sensory touch and psychological distraction. Like the model with Havening, like when you do the training, what we do at the training is we teach you how to pinpoint the root cause memories or traumas that are causing the anxiety-based issues, the panic attacks, the post-traumatic stress, the phobias, the general anxiety. And when you pinpoint those root cause events that are causing those symptoms, when you use the havening on it, it can completely and permanently remove the root cause and the symptoms, and it often does, does that within minutes. Okay. So, so it's a different model that way, as in we do look to seek the root cause, memory or event or events that have caused the anxiety yeah. symptoms the person is suffering at in the, in, the, in the moment or the present. Okay. So... How did they come about the science of this? How did they find out um, how to use the psychosensory touch? Yeah, good question. It really goes back to a conversation Dr. Rudin had with Paul McKenna about 12, 15 years ago at this stage. And Paul was actually talking to Dr. Rudin about tapping uh, taught field therapy. And Paul's explanation was, you know, it was, it was about chi energy, you know, the Chinese traditional model. and Dr. Ruin, being a Western academic, wasn't exactly buying that explanation. But Ron went off, Dr. Ruin, and started using tapping with some of his patients. He did some research on it, and he started getting some good results. So being a neuroscientific researcher, he got very curious about why was this working. So he really went off and started studying why was sensory touch uh, helping people to overcome anxiety-based issues. And he found that when we start stroking the, the, the face, the arms, and the hands, it's producing something called a delta wave in the brain, mm -hmm. uh, which, is a, which is a slow sleep brain wave. And it's these delta waves that are actually creating a lot of the neurobiological changes, both emotionally and physically, uh, on our clients when we use havening. He also discovered that when someone becomes traumatized or what causes an anxiety-based issue, there's something called amproreceptors, or little receptors that get stuck to neurons on the amygdala at the time of the trauma. And these receptors download, if you like, all the visual uh, information, the auditory information, everything that you're emotionally and physically feeling at the time. And then these receptors get stuck. If something reminds you of that past trauma, be it a smell, something looks similar, something sounds similar, that has the potential to reactivate those receptors and release cortisol and adrenaline in your body and bring back uh, those anxiety symptoms. So with Havening, we seek to find the root cause memory or event where those receptors got in status, trigger off those receptors and use the Havening to wipe those receptors off. Mm. Because once those receptors disappear, it switches off or delinks the emotional and physical stress from that trauma and from any cues, triggers, or stimuli in your environment that was triggering uh, the trauma again, be it the panic attacks, the phobia, the anxiety. Yeah. So th yeah. that was a big breakthrough uh, that, that Dr. Rudin discovered. So in the training, we teach you 
how to find and pinpoint those uh, root cause traumas very quickly, sometimes within seconds, even when you're speaking to a client. So for, for obviously for the aim of getting a result uh, really quickly uh, for the client. So, so we, we ran into that um, um, about, um, oh, wait a minute, we're getting it. Um, yeah, we were talking about scripts um, and the way that people use scripts. Is yeah. that a scripts-based model? No. <laughs> no, in the two-day training, we what we do is we obviously teach you various elements. Like in the first section, we teach you how to uh, treat you know, anxiety, panic attacks, post-traumatic stress, phobias, even chronic pain. Yeah. We, we teach you how to as I said, to pinpoint those root cause traumas. And there's about four things we look for. We call it EMILY. I won't go into much detail about that, but we call it EMILY. It's an acronym uh, for event, meaning landscape, and inescapability. So we teach you those four things on how to pinpoint those traumas and then how to use something called event havening to clear them. Uh, then we teach you how to uh, clear negative pathological emotions, things like unresolved anger, guilt, shame, feelings of feeling not good enough. Even if there's been a lot of trauma in your past, going back to your childhood that's gone on for years, yeah. we'll teach you a method that can rapidly shift those negative pathological emotions, literally within a session, sometimes within minutes. Um, then we teach you how to install uh, positive emotional states, things like confidence, calmness, and how to produce emotional resiliency within your clients to prevent future traumatization. Uh, we'll also teach you how to use havening for addictions, cravings, uh, things like smoking, people who are over, over drinking, over eating, how to get to the root cause of those issues and use the havening uh, to shift them. Yeah. So we teach you really the neuroscience, we teach you the theory, and then we do a lot of live demonstrations on real issues over the two days. Then after each demo, people grow up, go off in groups of three, and to actually use the, the techniques on each other. So it's very structured over those two days. Once you understand the science behind it, uh, you can become very flexible with it. It's not rigid that way. Uh, and in fact, you do have to become a bit like a de de detective and really think about what yeah. you're doing when you're listening to a client. It's not like, yeah, here's a script and away you go. In fact, it's quite the opposite. Yeah. I mean, because we're, we're both on the same track with that, and I think there's a lot of us out there that, you know, about this whole script thing. I, I, we were talking about earlier, I was reading a thread the other day talking about bulimia. Has anyone got a script for it? To be quite honest, if you're asking for that type of stuff, you should be practicing on people. I'm all about the person, and, and you've done the KS training with us. It's about yeah. the person that's sat there working with it, the intuitive element about working with that person, those minute things, working with the emotions there and then, rather than, and as I just walked down a windy staircase, are you there yet? You, you know, it's that, and and that's what I love about, um, and that's what I love about uh, Haven in KS site. You you know, you can get to, to, to the bottom yeah. of stuff. Really it's, it's about teaching people what to look for, having that sensory acuity. Like when sometimes a client is sitting in front of me and they'll start talking about something, I'll see them welling up, I'll see the emotional charge, and I'll know, boom. There's yeah. a trauma there, and I'll go down that rabbit hole with them. If you're too busy reading a script and you can't even, you're not even watching the person in front of you, yeah. <laughs> you know, you can be in trouble. So I don't know if you can see that, but um, it hasn't come up. But it's Angela. I'm having to read it off yeah. my other, on my phone at the moment. Um, Angela, can you see that question on there, Steve? What if the client doesn't know the root cause? Is that the question? Yeah, that's the right. Yeah, and that's from Angela. Yeah. yeah. I don't expect clients to know the root cause. No, I don't. Like, as havening practitioners, that's our job. Uh, that's part of the reason why people are coming to us is to be able to pinpoint the root cause uh, and then use the havening to shift it and clear it once and for all. Mm -hmm. So we teach you how to identify and pinpoint the root causes of their symptoms. Yeah. See, and that's a key thing as well with KS. You know, the issue's never the issue. That's what I always teach. Mm. That the client will walk in with a whole ream and a list of, of, oh, it's this and this and this and this and this, when it's actually not that. It's actually nothing to do with it. The issue is never the issue. Yeah. So, and that's the key point as well. And it's the same as with, with Havening, I, I suspect, as well, is that yeah. the client 
walks in, they give you a ream of stuff, but actually the depotentiation and the way that you're working allows you to, to resolve it quite quickly. Yeah, like we've found sometimes people have flying phobias, they're coming in and obviously they're there for fear of flying. And we've often found that they had a drowning incident when they were younger and it's actually stemming from that memory when they were trapped on the water and they felt claustrophobic and they couldn't escape. Yeah. And the tr and the airplane, that feeling of being trapped again and not being able to get off, yeah. is 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 that that's what's triggering it. That that memory. So sometimes the root cause seems unrelated, uh, but when you understand the Havening model and the neurobiology of trauma, you'll see how it all interlinks and how you can get to the root of it and shift it. So you're both shifting the root cause and the symptoms simultaneously. Yeah, yeah. and that, that comes on to. Uh, Patricia's just asked a question. We're having a little bit. Of, I don't know if people can see that. Uh, what what the question was? Can you see that, Steve? If the client cannot remember, course, could you work blind? Can you work with no information? Yes. So I'm not sure. Is it yeah. content free? So basically, is this a content free? So if the client comes to you and they haven't got an igloo, what's going on? They haven't got a clue what's going on. They just know something's wrong. Can you still work with them and resolve the issue? Yes. Yeah. Um, First of all, sometimes clients come in and there's some very personal issues. You know, it could be things that are sexually related that have happened in the past and they don't want to talk about and they don't want to go into detail, especially maybe on the first session. Uh, so we can do it content free. All we need to do is find that emotional charge, uh, activate it, and we can use the heaven to shift it. Yeah. If they don't even know that, we can go in we can go in through the emotion through what yeah. they're experiencing in the present presence there's something called transpirational happening where we get them to say the feeling or the emotion that's causing the problem when we use happening because of the delta wave effect it actually helps to bring stuff up from the unconscious mind into their conscious awareness yeah. by seeing the emotion and going into it so it's kind of going down the rabbit hole and drawing stuff right out from the client. So it brings up a lot of uh, suppressed and even repressed uh, memories and emotions. But yeah. as you're doing it, you're actually shifting and clearing and healing it. It's That's like, yeah. you know, and, 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 and this is the same way as I work. I work content free. When a client comes in, a lot of people sit there and say, well, I take an hour long consultation or a half an hour consultation. No. I'll be really honest with you folks, and I know you've seen me work, Steve. I won't even take five minutes because I, yeah. and I don't want to, you know, you may, if you want to stop me at any point and, and about the way you do your havening, but for me personally, when I sit a client down or they come to see me, I'm always sitting there thinking they haven't got a clue what's going on. So what's the point of bloody well asking them? They will be mm -hmm. telling me this, 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 and this, when actually if I can get them into that position and unleash it or get rid of it, then I will do. I never do an elongated consultation. If I'm if I'm 10 minutes into a consultation, then something's gone tragically wrong. And that, I genuinely mean that. My consultation, my first consultation, and my session are all combined. The reason being, I work content free. I work thinking and, and, and well, actually knowing in some cases that the client does not even know what's going on, which is a key, key thing there. So, so yeah, yes. well, yeah, with, with Havening, we, we do both. We can do it content free, but we can also do a consultation at the beginning. But once again, 10, 15 minutes. And when you get really good at Havening, you'll be able to spot stuff yeah. sometimes within seconds. I can pick up stuff right over the phone. On yeah. the consultation I do on the phone, I, I yeah. know what questions to ask. I know what to look for. And yeah. I can pick it up on the phone. And because of the consistent and remarkable res results Havening produces, clients can pick it up for me on the phone, how confident I am when, I, when I'm speaking to them that I can, you know, I, I can pretty, I'm, they, I can't guarantee things, but they, they pick it up for, for me that there's a very high probability we're going to be able to get a, a really great result for them and one that actually lasts. So can Havening be used? Well, we've talked about trauma, which is very, yeah. but can you use it for things like uh, fears, phobias, anxiety, and even weight loss? Let's look at the spectrum and even stop smoking. Yeah. Well, uh, like there's a few different things you can do with it. Number one, with cravings uh, or compulsion. So say someone has a craving to smoke a cigarette and there's certain situations where on a scale of zero to 10, they're an eight or a nine when they're having a drink or 
or when they're having a break, we can trigger that craving in the session, right? We can activate it. Then we can apply the havening on it to delink the emotional and physical uh, feeling of the craving. We can literally uh, switch it off in many cases or at least significantly reduce it. We can also then, we also look at it from the perspective of what's driving the craving. Sometimes, like you often see with weight loss, there's there's emotional issues, unresolved trauma, stress yeah. there. So we, we, we approach it that way where we look at the causes of what's causing the eating, then regulate their stress, then it's much easier for them to get, to get in control of the food. But once again, we can also directly treat the craving. So we're doing both. Again, we're looking at the root causes of what's causing the addictive behavior, but we can also directly treat the cravings themselves. And we can also teach people how to self-haven at home if they have a craving or a stress or compulsion to downregulate uh, the craving or the stress or even switch it off. And it can often do that within minutes. So what's, what type of stuff? I mean, let's talk about post-trauma. How quick has it taken you to do deal with post-trauma before? If someone comes in and they have a massive traumatic memory or we pinpoint where the trauma is coming from, it could be a car accident, it could have been, you know, they could have been raped, they could have been physically attacked. Uh, we can activate that traumatic memory. Most people will hit a, a 10 or higher, you know, they'll blow the top if it's severe trauma, they'll really feel it. Uh, it generally takes under seven minutes to completely clear the emotional and physical symptoms from the trauma. It's gone. Even when they think of the memory again or try and get it back, the memory is really distant, it's faded, and the emotional and physical stress symptoms that were there are gone. And anything that was triggering that trauma on a day-to-day -day basis, watching something on telly, you know, someone saying something, it won't be able to trigger it anymore because the receptors I talked about are now completely removed. It's changing the neurochemical landscape of the brain. So that's your question. Most traumas can be cleared, no matter how big and under 10 minutes, generally about seven, five minutes. Mm. Okay, cool. So you can actually get tra get rid of a trauma in one session? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> you know that and I know that. It's just, Look, it's just I've seen people, and I'm sure you've had, they've done months, sometimes years of various talk therapies, and then they come in one session, yeah. massive transformation, because you know what to look for. And you have the tools that you can work with the client to, to get the result. And that, do you know what, right? You've just kicked my pedestal because, and that's a key thing, is that neuroscience has changed the way we work. And mm -hmm. I don't want to dismiss it because talk therapies have their, their place. However, in Sigmund Freud's time and Jung's and around that, and when we were discovering psychoanalysis and all that type of stuff, yeah. is we were a, a human race that was completely and utterly different now we want things now we want things now if our mcdonald's is not there in five minutes we're kicking off at the counter if our amazon prime is not there the next day we're kicking yeah. off on the phone we want the here and now we have the capacity now to do things that our brains didn't and if we look at it now my father my grandfather they used abacuses at school my seven eight year old son uses an ipad you know and it's it's that way of thinking you know that even though counselling and CBT have a place in society, that they don't net naturally represent the way that we work now. And it's, it's very well and good that the NHS go, oh, counselling, we all have to go to counselling because that's the only way. But that's because the NHS is, you know, struggling. It well, I, had a, I, had a, I had a girl in with me today. She's done over a dozen sessions of counselling. She actually had a panic attack in one of our counselling sessions because what's happening is she's sitting in the counselling session She's talking about her trauma. It's actually triggering it. And the yeah. counselor sitting there thinking it's cathartic, which it isn't. It's actually just triggering the trauma. And the counselor doesn't have the tools, knowledge, or skills to actually clear or shift the trauma or downregulate it. All they're doing is opening up a can of worms, but then they don't actually have a tool or a method to actually go and effectively treat it. Yeah. And, and, I, and, see, and I see that I see that nearly every week. You know, many times a week I hear that story. Someone calls the office or a client's in. They've done months of talk therapy. Not to say it doesn't help, but essentially the the anxiety-based issues are still there. They're still suffering with them. And I'm very quick to, and this is not counsellor bashing, believe you me. Yeah, yeah. Go, for me go for me, right? But 
Uh, you know, it, it, you know, if I had a pound for every time somebody turned up like that, because it's not changed. The, the the models haven't changed that much, and they may have tweaked the odd book, but they're still not. I went for counselling. For most people that know that when I got run over, I went for counselling. It actually exacerbated it. It actually made it worse. And 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 that's not to say all, because there are some good counsellors out there, some good people that know how to. And, Cara, and Cara, can I tell you why that's happening from the Havening model? What's actually happening in the amygdala? Remember we talked about those receptors. Yeah. When you talk about the trauma, you're starting to fire those amp receptors and they're releasing cortisol and adrenaline in your body. Yeah. You're not removing them, you're just activating them. Yeah, so yeah. You do session after session, you keep talking about the trauma and you're getting obsessed. The cancer is sometimes thinking, oh, it's good, they're getting it, they're getting it out, it's cathartic. All you're doing at a new at the neurobiological level in the amygdala is firing those amp receptors off. Mm. Now what we're aiming to do, and we've already done it, is we're, we are training lots of psychotherapists, we're training counselors uh, how to use Haven because it is a great bolt on set of tools and techniques for yep. any counselor or psychotherapist or any therapist to have. So, when you bring up the stuff, when you're able to identify it or you see it's coming up, you actually have the tools then to actually go and, and heal your client, if you like, or, or to remove the trauma. And that's yep. what people want, as you said. People don't want months and years of therapy. They're, they're used to, uh, you know, if they want something, they want, you know, they can get it today. Not, they don't want to wait two months or, or three months. And what is the point? I mean, don't get me wrong. A good cathartic release is all well and good. But I really am, and I don't want to upset anyone. If, I mean, if you're doing six-plus sessions with people, then you, you, you need to get retrained, to be brutally honest. That's my own personal opinion, is that I sh you shouldn't be doing six sessions with people like that. Yeah. Somebody that knows how to do it. There are people out there like this technique, like SciTap, like Kinetic, yeah. but many other things that are out there as well that will get rid of trauma very quickly and spontaneously. I do it. There's videos of me doing it, and people have seen that. I'm sure you've got videos as well, Steve, of you doing it. So people who say it can't be done, they're the ones that I worry about because they're the ones that, that are so hypnotized in their own little world of you can't do it, you've got to do 12 sessions and they must do this and must do that, or pre-planning the sessions prior to turning up. That's the worrying thing. And what we're saying is, is that you have to look at the world in a different perspective to what some talk therapies are still training. They're still in the 40s and the 50s talking about abacuses when we're playing with iPads. And that's a very simple thing about, you know, about, about, about havening and about the other techniques that I've mentioned as well. Yeah, a lot of it is about people just, you know, being curious enough to go off and research this stuff and to do the training in it. Like I said to a psychotherapist a good while ago, I, I was talking to them about havening, and the answer they gave me was, well, I'd done my training 10 years ago. You know, if you've that attitude, well. Yeah, well, you know as well as I do, it's just train, train, train. I mean, I'm, yeah. I'm every month I'm doing something for crying out loud. Yeah. Even though I, I get great results with Havening, it's one of the main treatments I use. I came to your training there a month or two ago in yeah. uh, London yeah. uh, to do the KS. And, yeah. you know, I, I've done so many trainings over the last decade and I keep doing them because I keep learning. Even if I get a distinction, it can make a difference in the session. Uh, and it's giving me broader knowledge and more of a tools and a skill set, you know, yeah. to get results with my clients. And, and that's what it's all about especially if you want to run a really successful practice uh, that's based on getting results for, for, for your clients. Yeah. So this is Angela again. Uh, Angela mm -hmm. Rich just uh, – I don't know why the names aren't coming up. Uh, I'm not too sure why it's not. But, um, but yeah, Angela, here, I've got my mobile here. Um, can you see that on the screen, Steve? Yeah. Um, I'm registered with NHS as a hypnotherapist. I know doctors have done having training. Yeah, we have a lot of medical doctors have done the training psychologists as well. Has any attempt to register with the NHS been made? Could save NHS millions. Kinetic shift too, of course. Yeah, yeah look, th there's been various uh, studies going on. Like we did a study with King's College London. Uh, you can see it online about the impact of one evening session on severe anxiety and depression. Yeah. And that showed great, great results. Uh, you know, we're, we're working with various uh, associations in the in the UK. Got to do with veterans as well. Uh, you know, which we're making very good progress on. Uh, like, there's various research. There's more research coming out. 
like yeah. the NHS, like I'm based in Ireland, Dublin. I can't tell you specifically what's happening there, but uh, you know, I think with these things, it's just going, it's just going to take time. Yeah, and and the thing is, mate, it all comes down to financial. You know, as well as I do, this is what we're doing with the investment that people would make by coming on this course. Would stop this next question, and they're going to pop up as well. Is that you know? It's you know you save the NHS millions of pounds by doing this stuff, but they just can't see it because it's they can't see the wood through the trees. So this thing follows on to this. Uh, this is from Grace uh, McCarthy. I will try and pronounce your surname, Grace McEllen, Ellen McCarthy. Anyway, Grace, I'll leave it like that, Grace. But long story short is, hi, Stephen. Hi, Carl. I live in Glasgow, and it takes a minimum of four months for a young person to get an appointment with a child psychologist. Self-harming, depression, anxiety. Can all of these uh, help by you? Can all of these be helped by using havening technique? Yes. That's the simple answer. Yes, but when someone comes in like that, be it an adult, teenager, or a child, from the havening perspective, we look at why are they doing that? You know, what's going on at home in their family? You know, we talk about adverse childhood effects. You know, what's going on in their life, their environment? You know, there are more times often than not there's going to be trauma there, and we yeah. need to shift this. Yeah. So we haven't re we haven't really bre breached it. I have been in the background. People that see me twiddling around and tweaking stuff and doing stuff. Oh, sorry, great Grace McCarthy. Sorry, it came up with your middle name. Maybe I'll have to talk to you on the phone now. I do that one. That's not me being rude. It's just I haven't got a clue. <laughs> anyway, so my so Grace, thank you very much for that question. Anyway. So let, let's talk about it. I've, I've just been flicking this stuff up while we've been here. Uh, we've invited Steve to come over on the 15th and 16th of September, um, and it's going to be held uh, here in Suffolk. So uh, for those people, it's very easy to get to from Stansted Airport via a train and then train after that. So it's in Woodbridge in Suffolk, um, if anyone's interested in joining us. Um, so what's the course, what's the course um, uh, going to entail? How many, so we've got two days, but what are they going to achieve at the very end of it? Yeah, at the end of the two-day training, everything we've been talking about, you know, they're going to have at least uh, five very effective and powerful havening techniques to use to clear uh, anxiety-based issues, to help, uh, you know, people overcome addictions, and unwanted habits, behaviours, how to produce uh, emo positive emotional states, you know, emotional resiliency. Yeah. Uh, they're also going to learn, and I, and I should mention this, how to use havening with hypnosis and hypnotic techniques and how to combine the two. We've actually found that when you use havening with hypnotherapy or NLP techniques, it enhances the actual techniques. Yeah. That's why Paul McKenna is also such a big fan of havening, because he uses havening in combination with hypnosis and NLP, and we'll yeah. go into the reason why at the training. Uh, so you'll be able, you, you, they will learn how to integrate both for even better results with those modalities. So at the end of the two days as well, you'll also get a pack. It's a DVD pack, which gives you a two day training with Dr. Rudin in New York. It's a recorded training, which once again goes quite deep into the neuroscience and various demonstrations, plus to get a primer, which breaks down all the different techniques for a whole range of, of various issues and, and how to use it. Um, if they want to become certified, there is a certification process after the two days where we ask people to do 30 case studies, an online science exam, and also shoot two videos because anyone who we certify, we want to be able to say that they're at that high standard. And yeah. the doctors insist on that, and you know it, it is a good requirement. Uh, so, and you can do that in your own, in your own time. Uh, that's something you apply for after the two after the two day training. Yeah. Okay. Cool. I was just sorry. I was listening, but at the same time, just making sure. Just yeah. Sure. Yeah. So, um, obviously, you know, we just want to see um, basically. The course is there. Steve's going to be coming over. It's going to be a great two days. Honestly, it's, it's, if you haven't seen any of the videos on YouTube, go away and, and go have a look at it. I'm sure Steve's got some on his website. That was what I was literally just chasing around just then. Yeah, there's various. You're going to see lots. If you go to my website, you'll see lots of video testimonials from clients who came in with panic attacks, uh, post-traumatic stress, flying phobias, irritable bell syndrome, which Havening works great for because it's anxiety-related 
relay yeah. it, and you'll see the results. People got in just one session of havening. Yeah. Uh, the videos are there. They'll see it on the page uh, or the link from here. Yeah. The key, the key thing about this, guys, as well, is is that um, what I want you to take away from this is that all the techniques, whether it's site tap, havening, KS, um, CBT counselling, whatever it is, whatever you're doing out there, is they all combine. Anyone who sticks to a strict protocol is off their noodles because people aren't strict protocols. So why would we want to work like that? So, you know, I've worked with Havening before where I've worked with Havening, then I've gone to KS, then I've done a side tap, then I've gone to Havening, and I've done bits and bobs. And it's not to say it's ineffective, it's just the way that I work. I'm erratic. For anyone who's ever seen me do stuff, I get results, but I'm very, I, I work my way around and use different techniques all the way around. It's just, an, it's a great tool to have. It's very, very powerful. And if you look at the following of it, and what's the website? Is it havening.org, I believe it is? Um, it, yeah, that's the official website. Uh, our official website is havening.org. It's, it's, this isn't, and I want to make it clear for those people who are unaware about what Havening is, this isn't Stephen Travis has just come up with an idea and plonked it on Facebook and said, let's go do a course. This is a global thing like KS and Cyta. That You know, and I keep mentioning them because I, they're, they're all in the same ilk for me. I love all three of them. It's just a case of, they, they are global things, and Haven is it's a very big thing. And if you go look yeah. at your can I also mention Carl? Because you're right saying that's just it's very easy for me to sit here and say how great Havening is or how great I am. Yeah. Uh, there is a book that was brought out, and I don't make anything from this book, so I'm not plugging it. It's called uh, 15 Minutes to Freedom. Okay, that's 30 interviews. Uh, with hypnotherapists, medical doctors, psychologists, psychotherapists, EMDR trainers, EFT practitioners, TFT practitioners who all use Havening in their practice. And to talk about how it has revolutionized their practices and the results they get with their clients. There's 30 chapters going in depth with all those different professionals in this book. So just don't take my word for, for it. This is from these practitioners who are based from the US to Europe, uh, even things one or two people in there from Australia. So yeah. that book, if you're skeptical or, or you want to check it out more, you can get that book, I think on Kindle, I think it's about 12 pounds, 12 euro. So 15 minutes to freedom, it's all in there too. Yeah. So let's go through it again and then we're gonna knock it on the head because we're at half an yeah. hour. So uh, 15th, 16th September, here in Woodbridge in Suffolk, very easy to get to, uh, even if you're flying or driving, it's fairly, it's, it's not too far, even if we are in a lovely part of the world on the East Coast here. Uh, Stephen will be with us for two days, teaching you havening, and, and out of that, you'll get the havening certification out of that. So uh, I'll put the links on there as well. Um, I'll put some links on there for, direct to Stephen's website so you can book on. There are people there. This isn't a hard sale. I'm just telling you, for those people who follow me, who watch me, I, I'm telling you that, Havening is a great process that I think you should learn. And if you haven't learned it, then I think you should come on the course. It, it, is, it is worth mentioning as well, over those two days, as well as, as learning Havening for yourself, or for your clients, it's also for yourself to use those two days as an opportunity to shift any stuff that's still there within you. Yeah. Use but, those two days. Because I'm going to be bringing people up. I don't care how big the trauma is, how much trauma there's been, what, what, the issue, what the issue is, we're going to be able to use Havening on it. Yeah. Uh, and in the practice groups as well, you will be working on real issues. Plus, we'll also have a team of facilitators there, certified Havening practitioners, sitting with each group of three. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. So it's, it's a weekend. It's a bit like KS when we were lit that weekend in Heathrow a couple of weeks ago. <laughs> Literally, there was just trauma. There was uh, yeah. child abuse, there was anxieties, all being yeah. booted on. You're not just coming on a course to just learn a technique. You will develop yourself. This is you will change. You, you will the changes will happen in within yourself, and then yeah. you will learn and take yeah. those those learning experiences with you to to, to go out yeah. and help so many others. Yeah. And as you say, Carl, it is about confidence, and that's one thing Havening does give therapists. When you come away from the training. You've got the knowledge and the techniques to go off and consistently get great results. Mm. Like havening is such a consistent treatment. So when you're talking to clients, when you're working with people, like you're 99% sure 
almost yeah. and you're going to get a result and you're yeah. going to get a major result and that gives you great confidence as a therapist and people pick up on that when they yeah. speak to you when they work with you and it's a win-win for everyone so no, it's cool um i highly recommend it so folks you know at the end of the day uh, for those people that have done chaos with us, you know for facts that we only bring quality over. We only want people that are going to do do what they say on the tin. It's not a made up thing that was just brought out of a, out of a you know, no good idea is made out of a salad, is it? It's always made when you're out in the beer. And it, this isn't one of those. Havening is a global thing that has been going around. It's been helping thousands and thousands and thousands of people. Um, so I would strongly go do your research and then come join us in Suffolk. So let me just uh, re just redo this for you. So just to, just to recap for you, 15th, 16th, uh, 15th, 16th in Suffolk, where I am now. So I can't really forget where I am. And, um, and literally, um, you know, you'll be doing two days with Steve. So we're going to cut it short there. Guys, the links are on this thread now. If you'd like to learn more about Stephen and about Havening, Click on the links, go do that, go go research it. And Steve is on the end of a, an email or phone, as long as it's within reasonable hours. I got a phone call at half 12 last night. That's how random life is. <laughs> but, you know, Stephen, Stephen's there to answer calls and stuff like that about this and to, to answer those queries and questions and talk about it. And one thing I want to say is that this was not a counselling, it was not a counselling CBT bash because my, e -box, my inbox will fill up with people that are dirt. But on the same token, life's changing. You have to change with it if you don't. People are on the bus or under it. Either way, it's still going to move on. So, people, Steve, I just want to say thank you very much for tonight. It's been great talking to you again, as ever. Um, it's been great talking to you about Havening and uh, how it was conceived and, and, and the concepts. And um, I look forward to seeing you in about another... Was it 13 weeks? I think it is. Yeah. Yeah. It's Maybe getting close. 10 weeks. Ten weeks. Yeah, no, no, thanks for having me, Carl. Yeah. It'd be great to see you. So, folks, from myself, uh, Stephen Travers, and uh, from myself, Carl Smith from the UK Hypnosis Academy, thanks very much for joining us. Any questions regarding Havening, please speak to Stephen. Any complaints or queries about what we spoke to, send them to me and I'll go into my usual complaints department. I thought you were going to say send them to me, but thanks. <laughs> <laughs> okay. delete, 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 delete. Anyway, folks, it's been great having you on board. And for those watching this later on, take care and all the best. Okay, folks, yeah. all the best. Thank you. Speak to you shortly.